Now, more breaking news at this hour. This coming in from Troy, where a local Catholic deacon facing charges for alleged child sex abuse. The man has long been a deacon at the local Chaldean Catholic Church there. Uh, specifically, St. Joseph Chaldean near Big Beaver and Dequender. He was in court this afternoon. Only Local 4 News was there. Rod Maloney live in Troy tonight with what we know so far about this case. Rod. Well, Devin, what we get is that we have heard so often that the Catholic Church allegedly covered up a lot of these kinds of problems, but it was not the case here. It was the church officials who actually turned in their own deacon. 63-year-old Hermes Risco Ishak of Frazier appeared in 54-4 District Court this afternoon. He can't catch a mask. Oh, uh, I'm a deacon. Though he speaks some English, he needed a translator. Troy police arrested him earlier in the day after its investigation into the alleged sexual assault of a young boy at the St. Joseph Chaldean Catholic Church on Big Beaver in Troy. The abuse allegations first reported to Troy police in mid-October by church officials who have since suspended Ishak from any duties in the church. Ishak told the magistrate he's been a deacon for 21 years. Troy police saying his alleged assaults on that boy at the church started in May of last year and concluded with a final assault on October 2nd. Police also told the judge another child is an apparent witness. Ishak faces three counts of first degree criminal sexual conduct on a child. The judge noting the deacon used his authoritative position of power over that child as a way to get him to submit. Troy police asked for a high cash bond for Ishak, saying that he was born in Iraq and has family there. They also asked that he not have any contact with the victim, his family, or the witness. The judge granted that wish, giving Ishak a $300,000 bond with no 10%, meaning he needs to come up with the full amount to get out of jail. Ishak said in court that he doesn't have enough money to cover that bond. Should he come up with that money, he would still have to wear a tether and live under house arrest until his trial. In the meantime, uh, he also has to undergo testing for sexually transmitted disease. Reporting live in Troy, Rod Malona, Local 4.